Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about some really cool mods of this week. The mod of this week, inexpensive, quick to install, and effective. It starts like this. When you buy an RV from a dealership, 99% of the time the keys are alike. Now I know Jayco is doing something different in the industry where they're having keys that are only site specific for that VIN number and that vehicle that they had purchased. However, that's not the case for the other RV manufacturers. Because they keep costs down by utilizing universal lock sets for the compartment doors and for the main door entry coaches, that means your neighbor at the campground can open your compartment. Your neighbor at your campground can go into your camper and access your main deadbolt, deadbolt door and handle latch door. For me, that's a problem for other people. Maybe it's not an issue. I wanted security when I'm on the road. I want to protect myself and my family and the stuff that I paid for. So in order to do that, we did two things. First thing is, we installed a combination lock on the door. Now that one's a little pricey. That can start anywhere depending on from where you're buying them. $100 to $300. Amazon has a really good deal. Um, if you watch carefully, even the refurb ones are okay. Um, you might be able to get lucky, get 130 bucks or so. But either way, well worth it. Uh, I'll just show you a glimpse of that. I've installed that months ago, and that is working without it. The second thing, protect your compartment doors, depending on how many you have, is a thing called Combi Lock or Combi Cam. C O M B I Cam, C I M. Combi Cam replaces the latch cylinder that has the key for most compartments and it uses a three digit combination that you can make thousands of different combination codes so that you can have security. I'm going to show you that I've installed three on my fifth wheel and they work great. Uh, different colors, you can get them chrome and black. So let me show you that real quick and I will also show you the door latch. One thing to keep in mind, there are different thicknesses. So if one of your compartment doors that you want to install the combi cam lock is a little thicker than the other, be mindful of that. Make sure you get the right thickness. Let's go. First of all, I'll show you the door. Let's go. Okay, here we are. This is the deadbolt for the door. As you can see, this is sold on Amazon. This has a digital keypad here. So, and then it fits the standard doors. You don't have to cut anything out. It fits every standard door. Let me show you, open this up. You can see the inside of it. That's what it looks like. If everybody's familiar, you have your regular handle, your deadbolt right here. And this compartment is for your batteries. It takes AAA batteries or AA's, I'm not sure. But they last a very long time and it will beep to let you know if they are going dead so you don't get locked out. You also have a key override here, so you do have master keys in the event that something happens, you still can use your keys. Keep them in the truck or in a hidey key somewhere, whichever you want to do. To lock it, you simply push 7, 8. Oh. That bolt latches, it's locked. To open it, you put your combination, I'll turn away for this one. Boom. It's that simple. Literally a few minutes to install. Save the old one when you sell it. Guess what? Take it off. Comes with the next camper. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. Okay. Here we go. Show you the combi lock on this door. This is my outside kitchen. So here's a typical setup on it right here. You have these regular latches, which are passive. There's added security right here. Then... Here's the combi lock. Let's see if I can get in there good for you. It has three digit codes right here, and then it turns just like a real latch. See, there's the doors open. Close it, locked. Let me stand back, I'll show you a view. I have magnets on my door, really nice. There's a close up shot. It looks no different than the factory setup. 
I'll pan to the left and you can see the passive latch as well to assist it. Same thing. All the hardware you need is there. Matter of fact, this is the old cylinder I just took out. Right here. I will put these in a box, mark them. If I sell the rig, these will be taken out. These will be put back in. Problem solved. The other issue was, for some strange reason, certain locks were bending my key. They were, I mean, I lubed them and everything, but they still, they didn't seem to go good. These, I don't have to worry about a key. I don't have to fumble for a key. I don't have to ask my wife for the keys. You just use your combination. If you think your integrity uh, or your security is breached, change your security code. That simple. I have the, the package that came in. I have the uh, tag with the part number. I'll just show that to the camera. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get out here in the light. There you go. There it is. Combi cam. The back side. Might be backwards. Let me see if I can do that for you. Here you go. There it is. And again, I, you, I bought the one set from PPL Motorhome, which is good, free shipping. And then the other set I bought um, at Amazon, free shipping prime. One was $14 for one, and the other one was $18 um, at Amazon. Again, free shipping. I paid an extra $3, I got it in two days. So basically that's it. They're weather resistant, they don't corrode. And that's it. That is awesome. I love it. Love it. High tech. No batteries either. Combi cam. Get it.